If you're working as a 3D artist, you probably know that sometimes textures can be pretty complex. But in this video, I want to show you one of the most comfortable and useful techniques that I tried. It's called projections and looks like this. This is literally cheat code when you have final detailed concept. Because you can simply put it on top. Uh, let me reduce the opacity and adjust it a bit. Press on Ctrl T, then warp and yeah, move it just a bit, just like this. You can also use any other Photoshop tools, but I prefer this one. Then of course we need to increase opacity and just press Ctrl S. In one second we'll get this result. This way I actually made one of my most popular works and it got me so many clients right from our station. It will work especially good if you have experience in painting. Because you can literally paint any information right on this texture from this side and then project it. Ok, let me add some small scratch like this one and also I will simply change the color of your lips to something like this one. Press Ctrl S. In one second we will literally get this result. Just take a look how fast and simple I can add a occlusion like this one. Ok, let's talk about the software. Obviously we will need to use Photoshop because this is the most powerful image editing software. Not only you have all of the painting tools, you can use lasso, you can also add any kind of image and edit it pretty fast. Then for texture painting on 3D model I use 3D code because it has the fastest connection with Photoshop. You can also try Blender but you will need to create your custom plugin or install some paid plugins. I saw some of them on Blender market, unfortunately they don't have any reviews, so I can't even guarantee that it will work. But so far as I saw, it's definitely possible to make something like this in Blender. In 3D code all we need is to go to edit, preferences, choose your Photoshop file, then pick the right angle, go to edit, edit projection in external editor. Then you need to hide this light map layer on top, add new layer, I don't suggest to copy original layers because it can mess up your texture. Then I would like to paint right on this metal, I will increase size of my soft brush. For the light I will pick bright warm color and also I will add cold ambient occlusion. Then just press Ctrl S and in few seconds you will get this result on your 3D model. It works very nice when you need to adjust the colors or add gradients like this, but sometimes you can literally paint the entire texture as I mentioned in the beginning. Let's go to edit, edit projection in external editor, just update it, hide it, new layer and let's detail this part just a bit. There is always room for detailing, you can always add some small light and shadow to indicate a bit more of the volume. If you need to paint some kind of organic folds, you can use simple lasso and then increase size of your soft brush and use this selection to kind of fake the volume. So let's put ambient occlusion, let's put a bit of the shadow, if I remove it, you will see I will get this very nice soft round results. I think this is enough, so press Ctrl S and yeah, we'll get this result on our 3D model. I hope you get the point of this video, this is not the main texturing technique, but it could definitely help you speed up your process. Especially if you're working as a 3D artist or texture artist in game dev industry, you need to find any kind of cheat code. Because if you will make your work faster, you will get paid way more. I detailed this part pretty fast, it seems like you need to have some art or painting background, but in fact anyone can do this. This model was textured by one of my first students that I mentored and back then she didn't have any painting experience at all. Right now she's working as a texture artist. And if you want to learn gamer careers and professional modern AAA pipeline, I highly recommend checking out our school. Not only we recorded the entire creation process, we also have our own studio with artists who can help you if you decided to learn with feedbacks and we also made our own RPG game that looks like this. If you want to learn more, I will leave the link in description. Guys, I hope this video about projection was helpful for you, let me know what video do I need to record next and I will see you soon.